Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Caroline Makes Cards. Today's card features a gorgeous image by Alex Siberia Design called Gardenia Duo. I began by printing this digital image on Canson XL watercolor paper and fussy cutting it. For this watercolor, I will be working with Sennelier watercolor paints. I have a travel box set with 24 half pans. This was an affordable way to introduce myself to the Sennelier watercolors. I took a few liberties with the coloration of the gardenia in favor of working with some pinks and mauves. For the first flower, I'm using mainly opera rose but adding in a touch of scarlet lacquer. I'm using a wet on wet technique. I first apply clean water to the petal. I've added a little bit of water to each of the pans of color that I'm working with. I take my brush, pick up that color and then literally just drop it in. The color is not being applied in brush strokes, rather in small pouncing motions. The water that was applied to the petal initially will help make that paint move. The result is a textured appearance. I only paint those petals that are next to another petal that has not been painted or is completely dry. I'm constantly lightly touching the painted petals to test for coolness. If it is cool, it means that there's still moisture in there. If it feels room temperature, it is dry and I can paint next to it. When color is dropped in, that will be its darkest point. So I begin in those areas that I envision the shadows to be, at the base or following a curled edge of a petal. When working on some of the larger petals like this one, I will add almost like a watercolor wash to the center of it. I finish off with some clean water just to soften some of those harsh edges. Although the flower is dissected and the petals are painted as individual pieces, I do stop periodically what I'm doing and just push it back a bit and look at it as a whole. That may seem like an obvious thing to do, but for me, I get so focused on the petal that I'm painting that I lose sight of the flower. For the second flower, I will continue to work with Opera Rose, but the secondary color will be Cobalt Violet Light, just to add some variation between the two flowers. Violet is a natural shadow color, so I begin with it at the base of the petals. Roses dropped in next to it, and clean water is used to soften the edge.
If there is too much pigment in an area, I can dab the moisture off my brush and pick it up. When working on the leaves, I don't have the patience to wait for the leaf to dry before I can go ahead and paint the one next to it, so I use my heat tool to help it along. Like the flower petals, I begin by painting the leaf with clean water, just enough water to create a sheen. You don't want too much. The leaves are painted with green yellow and forest green. Along the edges, there is a touch of lemon yellow and opera rose. My flowers then go into a protective box so that I can spatter it with watered down white gouache. I'm using my smallest watercolor brush to get a speckled effect. Pink Fresh Studios braided oval frame has been die cut from white cardstock and mounted on foam. It has been adhered to an A2 size top folding card base. I wanted the flowers to have some dimension sitting on the frame, so I ended up using lots of foam squares. It probably would have been a whole lot easier to mount it on sheet foam and trim it out. Simon Says Stamp Script Hello has been die cut from white cardstock and sheet foam and stacked. The foam backing was left in place around the foam die cut so that the cardstock one could be easily aligned to it. When the glue is dry, the backing is removed and the sentiment is adhered to the card. The card is embellished with a few fresh green sequins that pick up the color in the leaves. The sequins are topped off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. When the drops are dry, they are clear, taking those sequins to the next level of beauty. And that wraps up this watercolor card using a wet-on-wet -wet technique featuring Alex Siberia Designs Gardenia Duo. This is but one of a whole lineup of gorgeous images. Be sure to visit her shop on Etsy. As always, I appreciate your visit.